Hello everybody, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor of Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DACI on the ultimate day. And at the end of the show, we're going to wrap up the show in about an hour or so. And we have with us here again, James Sandwell, who was on the day one or on the day before the day one and telling us about what to expect from the show. James, most welcome. The show is over. It's it's like getting a daughter married, you know, we say in India. <laughs> so, so how has it been? You know what? I We can see that it's been, you know, full of life and activity. But how has it been for you as an organizer? Uh, thank you to Bertie. Thank you very much for, for, for your time here as well. Yeah, when we last spoke, I was wearing a high vis jacket. We had noise and construction behind us. and three days of the show that noise was different noise but uh, just a huge buzz from the industry it's, it's been fantastic I mean to put into numbers if I can you know we've had a 65% increase in exhibitors 292 exhibitors here today over the three days we've had over 22,000 visits in the three days that's up from 10,000 in 2019 70 delegations we've had four defense ministers we've had five or six chief of staffs from Japan from around the world so the industry and the community has come together these three days and you know I've been working in trade shows for 23 years now I don't think I've seen anything quite like I've had over the last three days it's been fantastic which is testament to Claren events and crisis intelligence organizing but clearly a testament to an industry that sees this as the perfect platform to meet engage network and learn so tired yes delighted absolutely and, I, and what do we look forward to in 2025 well I mean the plans for 2025 have already started we're increasing the floor space by 50 percent here today in Tokyo we've had halls seven and eight at the Makahari Mesa we're going to be having six seven and eight next year so 50 percent increase in space and again we look to increase those delegations increase our partnerships with JMOD with Atla with METI with MOFA with the Coast Guard the self-defense forces um, and again it's about just using this as a place where the industry comes together discusses meets and connects as I said earlier but ultimately there's no better platform than events like DSCI Japan to really showcase what an industry has to offer from supply chain to prime from industry buyer to chief of staff it's fantastic absolutely and Japan of course was its full strength but what about the other small uh, Pacific countries the Indo-Pacific countries were many of them there and were they uh, you know were their delegations there Yes, yeah, so we had de the 70 delegations we had were all from around the world, but certainly from the Indo-Pacific region, Southeast Asia. We're here in numbers, we're having great meetings, not just with international companies and suppliers, but also with the local Japanese SME type companies and the heavy industry. So whilst this show is in Japan, it really is a global show. But it just gives Japan the opportunity to showcase itself to the world. But we had allied nations from around the world both visiting and exhibiting it was it was just fantastic Sangeeta I'm sure it was and thank you so much James it was wonderful being here at the show and we're looking forward to you know having another association in DSEI 2025 in Japan and wish you all the best for the next show thank you so much